What's going on? Uh, what do you got was, for me today? So I started to look up like current events to see about like something interesting to talk about. Mm-hmm. And then I realized everything is pretty much horrible because it's all about Israel and the fights. And now they're like bombing hospitals. And I was like, I can't watch this. And so then I was like, I want feel good, happy news stories. Oh, okay. And so there's actually this. Those don't get the clicks. Come on. Well, they did for me. So there's actually this restaurant over in England, which I kind of wish that we knew about this before. Or it's UK. So United Kingdom somewhere. It's Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. Yeah. Yeah. Tomato, tomato. (laughs) It's called... um, the long table and you know how maureen was talking about how there was like food shortages and stuff like back when she was a kid apparently there's still like a lot of people that are malnourished and now with inflation and everything everything is so expensive my seat went up and i wanted to go back down um now that everything's like much more expensive people are having trouble uh, affording food so this place the long table in gloucestershire it is Mm-hmm. Shire um, actually is a pay as you can. Oh, really? So, yeah. So you You pay. just show up and then. <clears throat> yeah. Like you don't, I guess, get a bill. I guess more things are donated or whatnot. That's well, kind of The cool. things aren't donated. Like the money that you give is almost more like a donation and it like feeds. But the, they were talking about how much food is actually wasted. Yeah. And so the owners of the restaurant, I guess, get the food before it ends up going to like a landfill or so oh, from like other, you know, produce places or whatever. So the meals are all different. It's always the same, like for anybody that goes that day, but it's like different things based on what the owner could actually get a hold of. And so they do lunches seven days a week. They do dinners. I think I wrote it down. It was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then they do coffee and cake, which I assume is like tea time. Yeah, essentially sort of for breakfast seven days a week. So I thought that that was kind of cool, and I was like, "Wow, so see, it, there are good people doing good things in the world." There's proof right there. We just have to go back to England and figure out where that place is, and then. Try so it. it's it's all food from like restaurant or like grocery stores that's going like bad so they called not bad it, yet but going bad they hopefully. called it that the owner like rescues food okay all right so yeah i, yeah, think, I mean I as think long as the kinda, food is like still edible yeah well i don't think they're giving them bad things but yeah. it, it literally said that he rescues it from landfills okay <laughs> but <laughs> like i think he rescues it before it ends up in a landfill that he buys the produce like right before almost like it's going, probably stuff that's like dating out right and, but and it's they still have like new good. harvest coming right. in yeah so it was gonna get thrown out so then he gets it makes sense or they get it i don't know if it's a male or a female they just said the owners but that's actually really good and they said that it's combating one the bad um i mean the economic issues but then also they're combating the malnourishment because mm-hmm. like with that fresh produce they have like another way to get it out to people i don't know and i could be missing something but i don't know how people live there i really don't with the pricing of things Ever inflation since we is went on the trip brian's like so no but like inflation's way We're worse there than it is here and well everything's more expensive over there right that's what i'm saying like it, but their wages aren't any higher than ours really but the prices of everything, including real estate and then just like cost of living is insanity. I don't know how people do it. Well, they don't have all the yards and all the weird I know, but that, that doesn't and all the stuff that we have. I guess. But that doesn't really change. Consumerism is a lot different there. Uh, okay. I don't know. I mean, it's not that, that different than us as far as what people have. And the know. houses that like, the houses are a lot smaller, but like the prices of the houses are probably 40% higher than ours for something smaller. And that's like, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know how, uh, the budget, I don't know how how they do it. They budget. Yeah. Maybe budgeters. 
but that was there so i thought that that was kind of cool like a good feel give back to the people mm-hmm. yeah. and then <laughs> i saw this all female auto shop is this in, is this in england too or no, I have oh. no idea where this is. Oh. It's just an all-female auto shop. Okay. But while you are there, you can get a mani and a pedi while you wait. I'm just saying, do you know how many all-male ones are? And what do you guys get? You guys get a vending machine that is half-stocked. <laughs> have this bag of and chips. And <laughs> maybe, yeah, and maybe a TV that maybe plays that's all like we want. the news. Is it? Is that all you want? Give me some football, a bag of chips, and a soda. Yeah, I'm down. It's only going to be either the soda or the bag of chips. You're not going to get both because okay, well, it's half empty. Whatever. And it's probably not going to be on a Sunday because they're closed. Okay. Well. Any other requests? So no, no, you don't get football when you're I, there. I really don't want to go get a manicure and pedicure while I'm getting an oil change. but. I know plenty of females that would love to. Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. Just saying. Just not my demo. That's the only thing. It was just amazing. Yeah. No, that's that's I very that was very cool. creative. Yeah, see? Yeah. At my at my work we have the little massage chairs for patients. So it does like a light vibration. It's not like a full massage chair. But um <laughs> yeah, and then I crazy. tell people, they're like, What are you gonna do next? My hair and I said, No, we're gonna get pedicures done yeah. with your feet because you can't work on the same end of the body. Yeah. And then this one you'll like. I have a third one. What? So this one don't read my notes. I can't read them anyway. I did have, oh, this other one about like processed food, but oh. we don't have to talk about that one. That one's like my nerdy health stuff that I like to learn about. We'll but talk about it. We can talk about it. It was yeah. basically talking about how horrible processed foods are and that they're linking all these diseases specifically to processed foods and the oh, yeah, no secret. UPFs mm. that are in it are actually, yeah, but they're actually coming out saying that it causes dementia and inflammatory bowel issues. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? And that there's more mental concerns than there are physical cons- concerns with those where Makes everybody, sense. no, but everybody thinks that it's a physical thing. Like, oh, I'm just going to get overweight. They oh, don't right. realize that it eats away your mental capacity. Yeah. And anxiety um, is just like a start of it, of the processed foods actually starting to eat away at your mind. So you're not crazy. It's not anxious. You just really literally have a concern. You just don't realize that it's the mm. potato chips that you're eating. That's eating away. There's you a want. reason like a lot of foods that we have here are banned in other countries because they know. Because they're smart. Okay, yep. England. I'm just <laughs> That's true. Um, but yeah, so the dyes, the sweeteners, mm-hmm. things like that, that literally all just like are like little bacteria that eat away at our brains. And then, yeah. But yeah. it releases those dopamine so that we think it's good for us when it's really not. Um, but anyway, the thing that I think that you will like most is there was... Remember the guy that you used to watch on YouTube that he would go into the water and scuba dive oh Maybe yeah it's more than scuba dive What's he would like look for treasure more? what's more like deeper than scuba dive i don't know oh i i guess i was just thinking or are they that, snorkeling i think i was saying that i was snorkeling oh yeah really yeah. it's scuba dive anyway he would scuba dive in the rivers and things and find people's phones yeah d almighty is the channel so this person and i don't know where it is but it's not around here because now you're going to ask me and I'm not going to remember <laughs> but he found so he had a magnet in the water oh magnet fishing yeah so he was going through a river and doing his magnet fishing and he found a thousand year old viking sword oh that's pretty cool and it was out of the Oxford River does anyone know where that is Oxford River Oxford River if it's a viking so it would probably like, be on the east coast it's like the might have been Eighth in and Canada. Ninth century. Okay. Or that's where it's from. And it's a Danish warrior sword. Wow. That's crazy. Don't really know what that means. It looked rusty as all. I'm and sure. I would just put that back. I'm sure it was. <laughs> so I'm not good with those things. What do they do with it? Do they put it in like a museum or did he try to sell it? So funny thing that you mentioned about that. This I remember because, mm-hmm. you know, I remember all the relation stuff, not the like fact, fact things. But so they went into this whole thing about the sword. No one, he was thinking it was about 250 years old when really it's more than that. Mm-hmm. Um, and 
they went it, it basically the river that he was on the owners did not have permission for him to go magnet fishing <laughs> I didn't oh, know so he was trespassing like when he found so it? So he was like, yeah, I oh, guess he was crazy. like, it was technically on somebody else's land. So how they dealt mm. with the situation is they decided that as long as it went to a museum, that no charges were going to be pressed okay. against the guy. Oh, that's cool. So he gets the like, hey, I found this and maybe credit for finding it right. and got to like hold it, do whatever and get kind of the press for it. But um, he doesn't get to keep it. It actually goes into a museum. Which, that's cool. That's fair. I mean, it's fair compromise. He probably got some tetanus anyway. From <laughs> right. it, so he probably wouldn't want to keep it around. So that's wild. Yeah. What a find. I don't know where the Oxford River is. I would assume maybe it's Canada. It might be it Canada. It would probably be Danish on the East Viking. Coast. If not Canada, but I feel like it would have been up this way and we didn't hear about it up this way. So I don't know. Probably Canada. Yeah, Probably was, like Nova Scotia I or something. I think it was dated for the n- March 19th was when that story went out. Okay. But I literally looked up like good news. Yeah. And then I clicked on a website and it had all these little stories. So I've been trying to focus on the good news things just like. I'm not too well versed in like people. Viking history, but I think there's I a theory. I thought you were going to say you're not... <laughs> two verse with good news stories oh, no. <laughs> i think i think the there's a theory that the vikings were actually the first ones to come to the new world like they were actually there's evidence that they were they were the first to Even actually before the hit. indians no, no no the indians were here i'm saying it like europeans oh i believe it yeah take that christopher so yeah because yeah, i don't christopher think christopher Columbus. was actually the first one either N- no he just gets but the he didn't really he it. didn't really find the U.S. He found like I don't know where did he land down on the I don't know I just Caribbean want to say somewhere. the Cinca the Maya and the Santa Maria and I don't even know if those are the right ships. Yeah, that's the because I'm pretty sure the Nina Mayflower Pinta and place. the Santa Maria. That's, yeah, what did I say? Uh, I think I say like the Indian tribes. I'm like the Inca, the Maya, <laughs> the <laughs> the Aztec, and the those Mayflower. were the Spanish <laughs> ships, right? I don't know where they landed either. I, man, it's been so long. Fraggle I gotta brush rock. up on my history. What? Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock. I don't know. And then there was like the Pilgrims, the um, the Mayflower. I'm still amazed that they, they didn't have Turkey at Thanksgiving, but yet yeah, Turkey is such like a big thing. Yeah. We could don't even get our own history right, so it's okay. I know. It's all right. But those were my little things mm, that's cool. that i found that i've been kind of preaching into and no, preaching. preaching i've been <laughs> preaching i've been looking into the Research. news stories yes i'm gonna try to stay up on the good news events instead of the bad stuff and i had oh the one story about the puppy do not throw your puppies outside of trucks and let them break their legs and leave them on the side of the that's road not really a good story <laughs> well that's <laughs> this is why I the puppy was rescued the I guess puppy that's good, is but... rescued had surgery today I pray for that in little Louisiana, puppy. in Louisiana, I believe. You the said, right? puppy's name, yes. The puppy's name is, um, I was going to say Vanna White. It's Betty White. <laughs> Vanna White. Betty White. And she's a white puppy. She's like six months old. I think we should send Candace to go check on it. Is it still in Louisiana? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's going to be transferred to a medical like vet facility so hmm. that they can have pain management for the dog That's until crazy. it gets transported up here. I can't handle sad dog stories, sad animal stories. I was like bawling my eyes out. Yeah. And then they had to tell me the good part after. I'm like, well, we could add, like, could you just <laughs> could have lead? led with that? <laughs> or like, give me the, like, you know, the little preview, like, don't worry. Everything did turn out okay. It's almost like those St. Jude commercials. Oh. You hear about the kids that go through treatment and then they're like, and then they went into remission and they're good now. And then all of a sudden, five years later, and I'm like, don't. Yeah. Don't, don't, I can't, can't handle it. Anyway, yeah. what do you got? What do you bring into the table today, boo? I only had one like kind of good, feel good story. And that kinda was kind of feel good that uh, we're going to bed after this. <laughs> Maybe. Um, no, but it was um, uh, Neuralink. If you don't know what Neuralink is, it's like a brain implant that um, Neuralink is the company. And um, Elon Musk founded it with some other people. And it's a brain implant that's going to give like basically um, para- paralyzed people the ability to walk again and do things again. It's still in the very early stages and the first human trials have begun. What's it in a 20 something old? Like a younger It was person? a 20, I think he was 29. 
Yeah. But he was a he was a diver. He had a diving accident and he broke his I think his neck and he's a quadriplegic so he can't move his arms or legs. And he was, was he the one who find the Vulcan sword? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. He was <laughs> I was like imagine if it was like oh, here's the feel good story about that and then we're going to separate to this story. <laughs> but he's the first um he's the first I think he's the first one to get the Neuralink implanted first human. And um he's able to play chess and other other video games he was talking about another video game that he plays chess and other video games can he speak he can speak yeah oh okay so yeah. he can that's that's he good. can he communicate can, he can say like oh this is good this is what right. this feels like if the camera gets shaky it's because kimmy is hunting for something she's sniffing everywhere <laughs> she's no but he was loose and she needs one of those implants she's kind of losing her mind yeah she does oh wait she can move she's just losing her mind i'm not sure what that is Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, he was able to play um, chess and some other video game. I forget what it was called. He mentioned the name, but uh, just using his mind. So just by looking at the screen and like mentally telling, like, for example, playing chess, telling the pieces <laughs> where to move. So, yeah, but is that specific software that links I to don't... him or is that like now he's a superhero. So I, well, he, he's literally telekinetic with the computer. But I think it, how it works is like the device maps out uh, brain waves based on thought. So like they tell they tell him like okay, think about moving your left arm and picking up this piece and moving it to this spot on the board. And even though but he this can't is all do virtual, yeah. Even though he can't do that, oh, okay. Even though he can't physically do that, if he thinks about doing that or trying to do that, that's a certain brain wave that gets sent to the implant in his brain. So the implant in his brain learns what that brain wave is. So when he goes to think that again, it knows the command of what to do on the computer. If that makes sense. So it I has think to that's be how it works. Like a software thing. It's a software thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, but I'd be flying things around the room all the time. Right. Just to... <laughs> well, no, that would work if you had a drone that was compatible with the Neuralink. If you had a drone. Um, oh, I'm sure Elon will. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to put people on the moon and I'm going to save paraplegics. But the other Amazing. like. Amazing. The other way this could be like, um, what's the word? Not established. Utilized. Utilized. That's perfect. Is Who's like with bionics now. Ooh. With like bionic limbs, so like people who don't have an arm, and you get a bionic oh, yeah, arm, yeah. right? The Neuralink can tell the arm based on the brain waves what to do, Isn't and you'll that... gain movement back. You'll have an arm again. Isn't that like that thing that you played with Justin and do? Uh, uh what? With that Call of Duty? No. Oh, uh, oh, 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 uh, Zelda. Arm, Zelda. His arm wasn't his arm. Yep. It was a scary arm. Yeah, that was a good game. I stopped playing that just. That's what you do. You play games for about. I played it for like a three, month or two. four times, and then you're like, good. Yeah. And then I get never bored with video games. I don't know why. I just. I find them fun for a while, and then it's just like a cutoff. Like all of a sudden, I'll just be you like, you know yep, what I think happens? Um, to be honest. What? Is that maybe not so much with Call of Duty, but with the Zelda thing? You were doing your thing, and you would talk about it with Justin. And then when you found out Dude was doing it, you would kind of like a little bit like be like, oh, what about this? What about yeah, this? Yeah, well, talking to and him then, about it, I was like, but, he was like, oh, I beat the game. And it was like yeah, three weeks old. But I'm then like, oh. Justin's also like way ahead. So I think after a while you're like, all right. So I'm never going to catch up. Yeah. So you're just like, that was fun. No, I just, Next. I, I don't think it was that. Maybe. But I think you get like that because you get those games. Well, like you got that because it was recommended to you. Mm -hmm. And then you like could chit chat about it, and then kind of get bored with it and go on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably. Like I bought the, <laughs> I bought the newest Call of Duty game this past fall, and I played it like twice. He plays it, yeah. I forgot I even got it. Like I'll ask if he, I don't know why I don't like to play the games. I can't do that. Like look one way and walk, and <laughs> so. I'll ask Ryan, oh, are you going to play? Like, for whatever reason, I think it's a nostalgia thing watching my brothers play when I was young. Like, it's very common to me. And I'm yeah. like, oh, are you going to play? And he's like, oh, maybe. 
I'm like, oh, well, ask Justin if he's going to play. Like, I try to, like, make it a, a fun thing with your friend. And when I would be anxious and stuff, I don't know, it would just, and even though it's Call of Duty, like, you would think that watching <laughs> Call of Duty, someone else play Call Violent. of Duty would not be helpful. But so thanks, Stu, for all the common you did back in the day. Yeah, no, it was, it was fun. I enjoy video games once in a while. I've never been a real heavy gamer, but I do enjoy. I'm glad, actually, that you're not like an yeah. overly. Because it, that's not good either. Yeah. Like to I, be just on it all the time. Oh, yeah, for sure. But. I can't get like. That's why like in the winter. I when can't you get can't to that point. Outside. I've never like I've never been in the really a situation where I'm like addicted to a game necessarily. It just kind of. Play it for a while Lots until I want TikToks for right. Play play it for a while and then once I've had enough for the day, I turn it off. Yeah, usually it's about an hour. Hour, yeah, hour or two. Two would be like a long time. Two, he'd be like, "Oh my god, I played the whole day." <laughs> but TikTok, he can be on that thing for a while, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah." TikToks. He looks crazy around. Crazy oh, addicting. It's it's dark out now. Right. <laughs> What? What? Crazy dog. Oh, because I said the O-U-T word. Because I said it's dark. Oh. We've got to put a neural link in the... her brain so that you can just like telepathically tell her that instead of... No, so that I can be like, mm, open the door, <laughs> put on the leash. No, but like legit, that could be a thing one day. Like if you have... Like if you have doors and light, like the lights in your house and it all has to be like linked everything together. would be linked to which we have that like now. Alexa exactly. Can do Alex and everything. So just link up to your Alexa and then Alexa is is essential. Right. That would be exactly the Neuralink just is compatible with Alexa and that would give you the ability to do it. Literally everything which just with thought. Wild. Crazy. Yep. I don't hook Alexa up to everything. It's, it's going to happen someday. It will. Well, it's pretty wild to think about. It's kind of scary, but it will. But I'm sure like, OK, I'm not saying that it's not scary, but I'm just saying that I'm sure lots of advances mm -hmm. are scary at first. And they're like, oh, no, this is cool. This right. Is good. Yeah. No, it's true. Humans oh, don't like change. I saw a cyber truck. I, yeah, that's right. Week. You did. Kinda. A real one in real life driving down the street. And I was like, what the heck is that ugly thing? To <laughs> that thing is so ugly. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is real life, huh? I thought Ryan just brought me to this showroom just to be like, hey, look. This pretend truck, and then you see it in person. It's like, oh, wait, that is real. Driving down the like road of Portsmouth, and I'm like, Sticks out, did that just? It? But you noticed it. You knew what it was right away. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, okay, if it's me versus them. <laughs> that's yeah, that's good. crazy. I, I still haven't seen a, a cyber truck in, like, in the wild. I saw one in the showroom, but. Yeah, you mean outside. Yeah. You haven't seen one outside. Yep, that was fun. <sighs> and shout out and thank you to Eric for fixing our little half wall. Yeah, we just had some work done to the house. Yeah. Shout out Eric. Oh, yeah, he watches this. Hi, Eric. Hi. Came over and, and he was, I felt did bad. Did some work. Because he, he has like the OCD where he'd find little things and be like, oh, I got to fix that too. <laughs> oh, I got to fix that too. Oh, I got to fix that yeah. too. And then when he was doing the um, the drawers downstairs, he would fix one, and then the next one down would like be off, and then he had to fix that one, and then the next one down, and he's like, "Are you kidding me?" And I it's felt like so bad on the effect. lower one because he was trying to like squeeze <laughs> his head underneath the sea, and not even the baby's head could fit. And the baby was all like asking him, like, "Oh, you need help? I help, I help." Yep. But he was so good with the baby too. He'd like do something, and then he'd like play with them, and then he'd go do something and play with them. I'm like, "You guys don't need me here." And poor Kimmy was upstairs. Alone. Yeah, yeah. I'll just go take a nap. Nice hot bath with my puppy. Yeah, we're at the point now where we're doing home improvements to the house. We try to do, I mean. We've done a few things over yeah. the years. but We added the garage door openers. Yeah. I guess like technically the rings, the garage door openers, the back door had to be replaced. Yeah, but that was because of like water damage. Yeah, but that's still like improving because now we oh, have yeah. a storm door. Oh, yeah. And then we got to, I don't know. I feel like each year if we do something inside and then something outside, I feel pretty accomplished. Yeah, I mean. So many trees are down in our yard too. Do you guys have that? Like it's just like Probably all not. of a sudden they're all just kind of. 
Yeah. Yeah, but it can't just be ours. It's been windy lately. It's been a little a little breeze to yeah. the south. But when it blows from the west and knocks down everything, I swear. We've got plenty of firewood for the summer. Yes. Bonfires. We need to like get in there before all the like brush comes back so we can actually like chop it up. That's gonna be yeah. our big like spring cleanup. Yeah. Let's get a clean yard up. Projects as much as we can. Mess. And then yeah, I don't know. Oh, and I was going through comments. I did a bunch of them. And somebody said, you know when we did the Dave's Hot Chicken? Yeah. So somebody mentioned Dave's Hot Chicken. Not so good. I think it's good. I love that Dave's sauce. Yeah, I think it's good. Um, it's really heavy. Like every time is. I eat there, Once afterward eat I one, feel like crap. I do. Well, yeah, it's also lots of greasy. Yeah. We've been trying to eat not that stuff. So then our stomach's like, what is this? Right. Um, and you usually eat two and I only eat one, mm. but anyway, that sauce is good. Um, they recommended that we needed to go to Popeye's and yeah. I was like, I don't even think we have one of those around yeah, here. Do. Yeah. I didn't know. So I we've been there a, a few times. Have I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I thought I went to but KFC. I, I remember you didn't really like it. Oh, maybe that's why it's just yeah. not processed. But anyway, so I want to do like a separate, you know how we would do our podcast, but then we do our little like outings or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, our little outings, like going to a different country, just a little <laughs> one. Um, yeah. I was going to say that maybe we should do something where we get to compare that and just answer and give a true taste just compare test Dave's hot comparison, to but I want to blindfold Popeyes. you. Okay. I'm and gonna I'm going to, and I'm going to like cut up the pieces. Okay. So you can't like go by like, okay. Because Dave's is kind of big and Popeyes, I don't, I don't know. But to give you a blind taste test of what it is. All right. See which one. And one's then you better. can do the same to me. Okay. I think Dave's will probably win. But. Well, listen, you can't. Popeyes be is is really good though, but it's it's not Dave's. Well, we have to find something. So I guess Dave's is tenders, right? So we have yes. to, to get the tenders of Popeyes. Right. To be fair. But uh, but we'd have to get like the Dave's tenders with no spice. Because if you put spice on it, you'll instantly know it's the Dave's. That's the only way I get it. Right. So that, you can check that off the list. Yeah, right. Already completed. And there's so. also another chicken joint that's coming nearby, uh, Raising Cane's. I've never tried that. It looks really good. Is it C-A-I-N? It's C-A-N-E-S, Raising Cane's. Oh. And they have like, they have their own special sauce as well. It looks amazing. I've seen it on TikTok. Is it mayonnaise based? Because uh, I yeah. think those are the ones that I like. Mm -hmm. Mayonnaise based. It is. Interesting. At least I think it is. Just well, by the look of it. That's not the one the commenter mentioned. So yeah. let's do what the people want. Okay. As in the person. If you guys I don't think have other little things you guys want us to do, just put them in the comments and usually I can convince him to do it. I don't think the Raising Canes is open yet, but it's coming soon. So. We'll have to try you that one. You guys try it. If it's good, maybe we'll try it. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway. All right. I got to let her go pee. Got to let the old doggo outside. Uh, Give her a, a neural link. I will link. tell you, we haven't been sleeping good. And it's not the baby's fault. He sleeps through the night. I wish I could sleep like him. But <laughs> as Ryan's like, eh. And then last night, I slept so well. And then she had to go pee. I love her. I do. But old girl, Kimmy girl. She loves to wake us up. <laughs> it's weird because you never get up with her. Nope. And he'll just tell me about it in the morning. He never even like is like your dog's barking or your dog <laughs> got up or anything other than like if she's already been out and she like goes to drink water. He'll be like, Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. he makes these like, Ugh. like. Oh, really? I don't know that. I, yeah, you make sleeping. these like weird grunty, like exhale sigh noise things. Hmm. You hear do you that? Do you believe that face? Doggo. Do you believe that face? No, I, right. I, I believe you. I believe that I do. I just, I don't remember. It's probably better that way. That's why you yeah, think probably. you sleep well. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to go. All right, ahead. guys. This is out. Let us know if there's other places we need to try or videos that you want us to do slash things you want to see us do. 
Sure. So yes, try. And then, yeah. Um, keep checking out Thrift Mine. Ryan's been working on a lot of video content over there. Or so he says. The contents of that box are a, uh, a new video coming. It's pretty good. Um, a lot of money in that box. I'll say that. There's a little hint. So we can open that later, maybe next time. Yeah. We, yeah, we can. Once, your video Once the video goes video's out, out, we can. So, yeah, all the people that have been asking for yard sale content, go check out Thrift Mine. Ryan and his dad have actually been working on a lot of storage units. That stuff's going to be coming in. I don't know how regularly because he does have a lot of content. So they have been working on this for a while. But it's just a matter of getting everything edited, as you guys know, if you guys know. It does take a while to do that. And honestly, I'm not very helpful with editing anymore. It's all good. I, I have... There's this little creature that we live with. <laughs> and I can hear him kicking right now. <laughs> <laughs> kicking in this crib. Yes. My job is to keep the, everyone alive, I think. Yeah. Other than Ryan feeds us. Because the baby will know if I cook food versus Ryan cooking food. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty bad. He's like, Mama, don't Mommy, like what daddy, is this? daddy cook. Daddy cook. <laughs> or what is it? Daddy. Daddy, daddy make it. Yeah. Daddy make it. I'm like, do you want me to make, even like Annie's mac and cheese, do you want me to make it? Do you want mommy to make it or daddy? Mm, daddy make it. Daddy make it. Whatever. All right, guys. Better he knows. That's like when Eric was over, he didn't, he's like, can you make me coffee? And I was like, sure. And he goes, actually, do you know how to make coffee? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, uh, yeah, you put the coffee in here. And I was like, it's like, you're good at making coffee is, is like. I don't drink the coffee, Ryan. So I was like, it's like kind of like Ryan's coffee maker. I don't know. And so Eric's like, mm, why don't you just put the coffee on the counter and I'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Hmm. Anyway. All right, guys. I'm going to go. Goodbye. See you. Thanks Have for watching. Have a great week. And we also are going to be hopefully putting out another crazy dreamers. So if you guys like those type videos that will be coming again, those will not be Fridays. That will just be these. Yep. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm just. I was like, oh my gosh, can you put your hand over your phone and it like no, opens it? No, I'm just it? messing around. You crazy little dreamer. Good night. Bye.